Hello everyone, this is Michael Gass, Senior Sales and Tech with PDS Equipment, or as my son says, the old guy that does videos. So thanks, Josh. Anyway, today we're going to talk about how to make a texture jig in Rasterlink. Uh, what you can do, if you didn't know, you can actually print your own jig outline by creating it in Rasterlink and then adding texture to it so that you can just set your media down inside a texture jig that you actually printed yourself. A lot of times this is quicker and easier than lasering something, and a lot of you do not have a laser. So let's get into how we do this. First thing we do is we're going to come over here to raster link. Uh, so we're going to start with my business cards. We're going to take my business card, and we're going to click the jig template. So as you can see, we have already made a jig. We've got my business cards in there all ready to go. So what we do is we click this print the jig outline button and the defaults use the work just fine. Then we hit print. Then we click this top button, come back over to rational link and it's going to print right now. So we're actually going to stop it. It's actually stopping itself because I'm not hooked up to a computer. So it's not going to print anyway, but you don't want to print it. So you hit the stop button. But what that does is creates a job in raster link, which is your um, plastic business card. So now I'm going to click this button, my color replace button, my color wheel, and I'm going to come over here to CMYK and I'm going to take that black and I'm going to click replace and make it 100% cyan, 100% magenta, 100% yellow, and 100% black. And the reason I'm doing that is just to build volume. I'm not worried about my color. I'm just worried about buying. Then I click apply. Then I'm going to click my special plate button. I'm going to change it to white. 100%, 100% valid pixel. Composite automatically on bottom and click create. Now I've got a job in raster link that's going to print and it's going to print my jig outlines and it's going to print them as textured. But to do that, I'm going to click my quality tab. And I'm going to take my over prints up to, let's say six, four might work, six might work, however many. And then I'm going to hit the print button. Now this is going to take several minutes to print because it's printing layers and it's printing a full bed. But when you're done, you're going to have an outline of every single business card with a raised print so that you can just drop your business cards right down inside there and print. Now, as far as the media goes, I would use a piece of a thin piece of like 1.5 or 0.7 mil PVC. You could actually use a piece of glossy paper. You could use alumaplast. You could use cardboard. There's a lot of different things you can use as your jig. And what I do is I take my piece I like glossy paper. It works really good. It lays down flat and it takes ink nicely and it's reusable. I take my piece of paper, cut it to my bed size or cut it just slightly larger than my jig and I line up the front and side edge even with my bed so that once I'm and then I tape it down and once I'm done I can remove it and if I want to use that jig again I just set it back down even with the edges of the bed and I have a reusable jig. All right. So let's say your shape is not a rectangle, because as you know, raster link is only going to print rectangles. How would we make our own jig of a different shape? Well, let's talk about that. So right here we have two files. We have an ornament and we have the ornament outline. So we take the ornament outline, we drop it into jig print, we make our jig, which you can see here, we've got a 28 up jig made. Then I'm going to go to color replace and I'm going to take that black and again I'm going to make it 100% CMYK because I'm just looking for volume, I'm not worried about color. I'm going to click apply. Now I'm in jig print. I'm going to come out of jig print real quick because I want to add my white. And the reason I'm adding white is because it prints white and color at the same time and it's just a quicker way to add texture. So I'm going to click my special plate, I'm going to click white, I'm going to click 100%, composite automatically, click create. And because I've copy specific, I can't do that, so I've got to take my copies back to one. There's a good lesson for you. We always talk about order of work, that's a good example. Now, I can make my white plate. Uh, 
right? And I'm going to go back here to my quality tab. I'm going to change my over prints to five. Go back here to raster link and use that ornament. Change my copies to 28. And obviously, if I were only doing a row of seven or whatever it was, that's all I would need to print. And then I'm going to print this. And then once that is printed, I've got my outline. Then I just come back to my original artwork, drop it in that same jig, drop my media down inside my ridges that I've made by printing my own jig. And it's going to line up perfectly every time. And you've made your own jig in raster length. And it's reusable if you align it up to the edges every time. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, just uh, send me an email, text, whatever you want to do, and we'll talk about it. Thank you very much. This is Michael Gass with PDS Equipment. And as always, check out our YouTube page and uh, just contact us if you have any questions. Thank you very much.